Welcome to Violin Lounge TV, where you learn to play the violin and viola with body, mind and spirit. This is your host, violinist Zlata. Hello there, this episode is all about the alternatives you have if raising your shoulder rest isn't a solution to your pain problem. Um, the reason I make this video is because I've got an email from Anne and she writes to me I very much enjoyed the weight versus pressure workshop and learned a great deal. If you want to follow that workshop too, it's completely for free. Just watch this video until the very end and you will be shown exactly how to uh, sign up for that. Unfortunately, at the same time, I have come to the conclusion that my violin chin rest and shoulder rest are all wrong. Because the chin rest is not high enough, I have been using a shoulder rest, as is suggested by my previous experience trying to learn the violin. However, the shoulder rest lifts the violin so high that it cannot rest on the clavicle, while at the same time does not lift it enough for me, um, to, to chin, to rest on it comfortably. What she means is that you can, if you aren't playing comfortable, so you really have to put your chin down like that or something, you can, as a solution, try to raise your shoulder rest. But then you also raise your violin, so it doesn't rest there anymore. Um, but you want the chin rest to be higher anyway, to be uh, comfortable for your neck. So that's the kind of dilemma we're talking about in this video. Um, it has taken me almost two years to realize all of this, this is the cause of much pain that happens in my back after playing or practicing for only five minutes. You can imagine that if you really tilt your neck like that, that your whole spine goes out of balance and that you get pain like everywhere. <laughs> Until the tip of your toes. <laughs> um, well, it's not, a, it's not a laughing matter actually, because a lot of people suffer from this pain, but I will give the solution. Just wait. Because of the pain, I have not even played the violin for almost a year, uh, but have spent time researching to try and find answers. This is how I found your site on the internet. Well, you're absolutely right that raising your shoulder rest is not the solution. And it can even cause injury on your right arm. Because as the violin gets higher, also when you're bowing, your right arm has to go higher and higher. And you, then you lift your right shoulder or you lift this and you get pain here or pain in your shoulder. And well, or in pain in the right side of your neck. So raising the shoulder rest, it may be for a little bit a solution, but... Not at all. She writes, so now I'm hoping to get a raised chin rest soon, but they are very expensive, are expensive are they? Until I can get the right chin rest, I cannot even practice. And I cannot try out the things I learned in your free workshop. Well, now, um, uh, uh, raised chin rest, certainly if you had them made by a luce, were very expensive. Um, she even writes, do you have suggestions for my situation other than spending $275 for a fitting kit to come to me through the mail and then another $45 for the chin rest. Well, Whitner has designed the Whitner Augsburg, which is a chin rest you can adjust yourself. It has different parts. I will put a link below where you can buy it for approximately $40 at the moment. And that is including the fitting kit. Uh, so you don't spend a hundred uh, or more dollars to this uh, because there are cheaper solutions. Um, so that's the solution just to get a higher chin rest. You know, you want to hear the height, but you don't want your violin to go up. So uh, you can get a higher chin rest. But another solution you can do without by spending anything is a uh, lot of people have their violin like this. And then you see this is very low because if I do this, then I've got just this space which is filled up. But when I tilt my violin a little bit down like that, it's not even more relaxed for my left arm, for my right arm. Uh, but if you tilt the violin, then this space becomes a lot bigger. And so the, the void <laughs> is, is filled and I don't really have to do something like this. Look, if I 
put my violin like this, like lots of people have their violins too much to the left and too high. There's no reason to do that. Uh, and then I have to do this. Okay, this is not very comfortable. I will really hurt my neck when I do this. But when I put my violin a little bit nice and to the front, nice and low, like that, then problem solved. So don't try to find the solution only in your chin rest and shoulder rest and spend lots of money to get it adjusted or to buy new ones or whatever. Try to experiment with your violin hold. You might hold your violin too high or uh, too much to the left. Well, I hope this has been helpful and don't hesitate to contact me if uh, you still uh, experience a problem after experience with this violin hold. Well, I hope this uh, video has been useful to you. If you like it, then please like it and share it with your friends. If you'd like to receive more valuable and actionable violin tutorials, then please go to violinouts.com and subscribe to receive my weekly updates. Thank you for watching Violin Lounge TV. Happy playing. Bye bye. Thank you for watching Violin Lounge TV. Zlatter has a gift for you. The free workshop Weight vs Pressure. In this, she will teach you how to play the violin or viola effortlessly and comfortably. The secrets to creating a beautiful tone and to touch people's hearts with your violin or viola playing. Weight vs Pressure includes the 30-minute video masterclass Weight vs Pressure, the 44-page workshop binder, and the Weight vs Pressure body scan you can do yourself. People use it as a valuable reference for years. Go to www.violinlounge.com forward slash free dash workshop. Fill out your name and email address, go to your email inbox to confirm, and Zlatter will send you the login details for the workshop within one hour. Enjoy happy practicing and beautiful playing.